1984, I was working at Phonogram Records in London. One grey November Wednesday, my boss, Tony Powell, called me into his office to have a meeting with Bob Geldof and said these words. Bob saw this newscast about the famine in Africa last night and he's going to make a charity record at the weekend. You're going to make a video for it so we can show it on Top of the Pops next Thursday. We want to be at number one by Christmas. I asked him how much money I had. None, he said. I had less than four days to make a video for a song that hadn't been written for a band that had no name and I wasn't allowed to spend a cent. I was going to have to blag it. The following Sunday morning, I waited outside the studio with my six-man crew and it was deathly quiet. And then Banana Rama showed up, followed by the Durans, Bono, Sting and plenty more beside. Inside the studio, the world's press had arrived. I counted 72 of them who pushed and jostled, trying to get closer to the meat. Me and my assistant, Sarah Wills, tried to hold them back as the tapes rolled, the shutters clicked and the session got underway. As the early afternoon appeared, a foolish pop star asked Bob where the free food was and the room went quiet. Geldof's tart response, littered with cuss words, suggested that the feckless chart hero was wealthy enough to purchase his own lunch, and a very clear point had been made. This was serious business, and normal rules didn't apply. Boy George flew in from New York on Concord, took a car from the airport, walked into the room and delivered his line. Phil Collins bashed down his drums in two takes, and by seven in the evening, it was all done. I hurried to the labs with the exposed film footage. By dawn on Tuesday morning, just six days since that first meeting, I'd finished the video. On Thursday at 7pm, the BBC broke with tradition and cut away from scheduled programming so that David Bowie could announce the world premiere of the video for Do They Know It's Christmas by Band-Aid. And, as planned, it was the big Christmas number one. My mother bought two copies. In the end, all we had to pay for was a raw film stock because Kodak wouldn't give it to us. But Geldof got his own back and made them donate towards Live Aid which followed the next summer. To this day, the Band-Aid video is one of my proudest achievements.